Hi, I'm Sydney Galpern from SeeMeCakes.com and today I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful galaxy painted technique on black fondant. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is roll out your fondant. Now obviously you can do this directly onto your black covered fondant. Um, I just rolled out a plaque here to show you, but I would actually recommend starting on a separate piece rather than the cake that you want you know, to be perfect, just so that you can practice a little bit and get the designs and the colors that you like before starting. So I just rolled out a little bit of satinized black fondant here, and I cut it out with a circle cutter. Now keep in mind when rolling out your black fondant, generally I know that you would use shortening to roll this out so that you wouldn't get any white specks from powder out, but keep in mind that the Crisco or whatever kind of shortening that you're using is going to make the fondant sticky and the paint won't stick as well. So ideally, uh, if you can use powder, it's okay if you do have any white specks from the powder on it because you are going to be painting over it and adding white flecks of stars. So for my galaxy, what I decided to do is I like kind of a blue, purple, and a little bit of yellow greens in there, but obviously you can customize the colors to whatever you want. You can do pinks, you can do oranges, you can do you know brighter, warmer colors, whatever you want to do. I just personally like the blue and purples together. So what I'm going to do first is I use a little bit of navy blue gel color, and I'm using Americolor for this, and I just mixed it with a little, little drop of white, and that is going to add the opaque kind of color to it so that you can, it will stand out on the black. And so I have a paper towel here, and I'm just going to crumple it up, and the more folds you put in it, the more kind of space you'll have in between the color and the more variated color you'll have, so just kind of play with it until you get a nice surface. And then I'm going to dip it into my color. All right, and just kind of blot it very, very lightly, and then I'm going to start making some shapes. And it's better to do too little with this than too much because you can always build up onto it. And I'm starting out with a base color of the darkest color, so the really dark blue, and then working my way into the lighter colors as I go. And I'm just going to kind of pat on sort of a random shape you can look up pictures of galaxies. There's many different shapes uh, that you can kind of follow. Uh, or you can just freehand it. It's up to you, whichever you're most comfortable with. And don't worry too much about making it perfect, because obviously galaxies aren't going to look perfect. And I just kind of fade out the edges a little bit so that parts of it are thicker and kind of more clustered together than others just until I kind of have the color that I like. I'm going to be, like I said, starting with this darker color kind of as the overall base and then going in with uh, lighter colors in smaller sections. But the center here will be kind of an oval-shaped galaxy. Alright, so you want to let the paint dry a little bit before you start adding another coat of color. Um, now, you can let it dry completely or you can leave it a little bit wet because then the colors will blend together more. It depends on how much you want the next color to stand out. So if you want it completely separate from the first color, you can uh, let it dry completely so that the colors don't bleed into each other or you can do it directly after. Kind of play around with the looks and see which one you like better. Um, so I just gave this a few minutes, probably about two minutes to dry, and now I'm going in, I added just a little bit more white color into that same uh, navy blue color, and I'm just going to lightly kind of start patting it on top, and I'm not going over the whole thing, I'm just going over sections of it, and then making some smaller little pieces coming off. And from here, I'm just going to repeat this process, layering more and more colors. Now that I've done my blues, I'm going to go in with some purple. So I took some regal purple, a little bit of electric purple to give it some pinky tones, and then um, a drop of white, just like before. And I'm going to blot it. And then you can use the same paper towel, or you can use a new one if yours got a little bit soggy. Just go over, just like before. I'm going to concentrate this a little bit more this time. kind of in the center. I don't want to cover up the colors. I just want to add to them. A little bit on the edges. The next layer, I'm going to go in with a little bit of fuchsia mixed with white. I'm 
and then just a tiny, tiny bit of electric green. I'm just dotting it on and then going over it with a dry piece of the paper towel to kind of blend it in. Alright, so once you're finished and you're happy with all of your layers, you want to let them completely dry or else the stars are going to bleed into the color. So, for the stars, there's a few different ways you can do them. Um, I'm just going to first take a kind of coarse brush with a little bit of white paint. You could also use yellow. And just start kind of flicking it on to make fine little dots. Like that. If you'd like to do bigger stars, you take a small, a small paintbrush, drip a fairly large dot, and then use a toothpick to drag out the points. You can either do one drag, and you may have to go over it a few times for some shooting stars, or you can go over and do multiple points. I like to finish the piece off with a little bit of disco dust just sprinkled on top for some glitter and then your galaxy effect is done. Thanks for watching. Here are the products that I used today and in the description box below I'll link to them. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials in the future and until next time, keep life sweet!